we're gonna talk about the grooming and maintenance needs for your short-coated shedding dogs. We're talking about Italian Greyhounds, Dachshunds, Boxers, and dogs that have that really fine short coat that does shed. So you wanna get your dog familiar with any of its maintenance-related activities while they're little, so that as the dog grows up, it's not gonna be a fight, it's not gonna be scary. So we have this whole assortment of the right stuff for that type of pet. Um, so the first thing we'll talk about is actually brushing your pet. So anytime we're gonna brush a dog, we don't wanna ever brush a dry coat. Uh, so we have the Argon Oil Luster Repair. This is literally just a mist. And so you will just give your dog a quick mist before you go to actually brush it. So as we think about dogs with a very fine coat, very short coat, they don't need a brush that's gonna have metal bristles. We don't wanna scratch their, their skin. So this type of a brush actually has rubber bristles and then each bristle actually has little individual rubber fingers. So these individual little fingers will be able to grab any of that short loose hair and just help pull it right out of the coat. So that is the right type of brush to use for this really short slick coated dog and that will be fine. So you probably use this maybe two or three times a week, five, 10 minutes at a time and, and you've done it. You've just brushed your short coated dog. The other thing that we have is your bristle brush. So this, the point of the bristle brush is to actually help bring out the natural oils in the dog's skin and coat and redistribute them throughout the hair. So you'd use this um, maybe before this brush, you do it with the, the bristle brush and you can actually go against the way that the coat grows just to kind of loosen up any of that loose hair and then come with the way the coat grows as you brush with these rubber bristles. So between the two, you've got it totally covered. And both of these are very soft and gentle on the dog's skin. And it really, it feels like a massage. And you want this to be a positive experience. If your dog seems like he's not enjoying himself during the brushing process, first off, make sure you're not like pushing down into the dog's skin. But secondly, you can have some treats or some rewards that you're just treating your dog while he sits there and lets you brush him. So those are the items for brushing. And then when it comes to bathing, these dogs with their very short coat don't need to be bathed all that often. And actually you can probably use wipes for a lot of these sorts of things that might need to be cleaned off of your dog's coat. Uh, even if you're doing some housebreaking, wipes will get the dog fairly clean because there's no fur, there's no depth of fur to keep the dog dirty. So you can just wipe the body clean. Maybe, you know, once a month, every other month, if you wanna do a full on bath, you can do the <clears throat> Argon Oil Luster Repair Shampoo. That's really good, does not strip the oils from the coat. Uh, and it doesn't take too much to bathe a short coated dog because there's almost no hair there. So you'll just literally lather it up, let it sit a couple minutes, rinse it off, and you've done the shampoo part. You just repeat with the avocado conditioner and that way that um, helps moisturize the dog's coat and its skin and it is gonna make it you know, smell nice and be very clean and soft. So then the other thing is many of these dogs with this very slick uh, short coat um, are gonna have the floppy ears. There's a few breeds like miniature pinchers and maybe greyhounds that have some of the up ears. If it's an up ear dog, you're doing ear cleaning maybe once a month. If it's a floppy ear dog, you're probably doing ear cleaning closer to once a week. We have a probiotic ear cleaner, so you can just flush the ear canal and then you gently massage the ear canal, you know, maybe 30 seconds. Let the dog shake its head and then you can get in there and with, with a cotton swab or a cotton ball, you can kind of just dry it off and clean it up in there. You never go digging past where you can see because that's what's very irritating for your dog. You don't want to hurt their ear canal. Um, getting your dog familiar with dental care is also very important. So doing this from a young age, that's where it's at. Uh, you want the puppy not afraid of having its teeth brushed. So we have the really delicious tasting dog safe gels. So this one is the honey marinated chicken flavor. So and you can start with a finger brush. Finger brush gets the puppy used to the sensation of having something in their mouth. It's got these very fine, very soft rubber bristles. And initially, you might put the, uh, the gel on this toothbrush and just have the puppy lick at it, see that they like the flavor. And then you can kind of 
integrate a little bit of actual brushing action until the dog lets you do whatever you need to do in their mouth. And then once they do that, you can transition to the real toothbrush and you can get back in there with a little bit more um, pressure. Important to note, puppy teeth at the age you acquire your puppy is probably going to be baby teeth. Those teeth fall out uh, and the adult teeth start coming in around the five month mark. So getting the puppy used to dental care while they have their baby teeth is where it's at. So that way when they have their full on adult teeth, you are able to continuously do the uh, brushing of the teeth. Honestly, you can brush your teeth, your dog's teeth up to daily, um, just like what we would you know, recommend for people or even twice a day if you want. But some brushing of the teeth is certainly better than no brushing of the teeth. The more you can integrate this into your daily routine, the better the dog's dental health will be. So those are their care requirements for the maintenance needs of your short-coated shedding dog. If you have any questions about any of these items, please call the store and ask for a pet counselor.